be not just a fan as an actor but so much respect for his his trajectory so much respect for seva sir and you know everything that he has achieved in cinema the combination of the both of them coming together after they made one blockbuster together and this is heading towards being a mega blockbuster the fact that seth was in the film janvi i mean it was like a for us at dharma productions and aa films it was really an absolute no brainer to be uh, to have our names associated uh, with this magnificent piece of cinema that you just witnessed you know we have to say that this trio of course apurva sir anil sir and you you should and you are getting the credit for uh, you know introducing us to this pan indian thing of course we've had movies earlier but bahubali ke baad it all started what do you think is that one one thing or the one usp of devara that it's it's going to appeal to all the people globally well you've had all the magic and madness on land but have you seen it on sea uh it's a first i mean when you see what they call like the the blood sea uh and you see all the action that happens you know on the water and the way like there are sequences that are just sometimes you feel that you have an a wild imagination and those can never really be fructified but this has like you know seva sir had that imagination and then it was absolutely like executed to precision uh so i think the big usp i would say is just the landscape of the film the fact that water is such a star as well and everything that happens in and around that that arena really makes devara like a stand out film and clutter breaks every other massive dramatic action film you've seen in indian cinema absolutely so we'll get to see this on the 27th and it looks wild like and uh, every time for every shot you know i just keep staring at him right yeah. right so after watching davudi i had a title or a tag for the gorgeous and the very talented janvi kapoor of course i sat on it for quite some time and she had to leave she had a flight to catch but of course the expression queen of the indian film industry you brought that out you know from from janvi and her chemistry with this gentleman tarak bhai here it is phenomenal people are saying jodiyan karan sir banate the abhi you've taken it to some other level what do you have to say sir yeah yeah because they look too good on screen and uh, down south people feel that after after india sir and sri devi now it's the cynthia and janvi wow you said it sir you said it and bhera we have to talk about bhera sir as i said you know the handsome the ever so charming saif ali khan the brilliant actor and here he's so ruthless sir why would you do that to this this man here <laughs> no even for the first time i'm seeing him like this because i never saw him like this in hyderabad <laughs> okay because he comes to the shot i see only bhera and now he's looking like a rock star is something new to me thank you so much for sharing all of that and thank you so much for this amazing piece of art shiva sir thank you thank you that uh, tarik he wanted me in it and shiva sir wanted me in it uh, i think they'd seen omkara and remembered it and i have to thank vishal ji for that still um and uh, it was a it was a very interesting character because you know he's there's a young version there's an older version there's crazy makeup and uh, also i wouldn't you know is more of an anti hero than a straight uh, antagonist and there's many layers to it and it was just absolutely lovely uh, doing it right. it's like a um, an entry a debut into a new kind of cinema right. and you know according to me the cutting edge of of indian cinema right now so it's it's great for me to be here well he said it ladies and gentlemen he said it you know talking about uh, the man of masses of course the world is talking about him or up se nahi kab se so how was it collaborating with him and it was amazing i mean I, i i we met and we had we had a laugh from day one he's very easy going person who wears his stardom lightly which i like um and off offset a very very friendly welcoming person we had a laugh from the the first day and he visited me in my van while i was waiting for a shot it made me feel so comfortable right. and we had a lovely laugh he's invited me to his home and offered to cook food and uh, he's one of the most hospitable people i've worked with a really really nice down to earth guy but when the camera is on and when he um, when i saw him shooting on the set he seems to grow in stature in front of the uh, camera and becomes a larger than life person which is a very great star quality to have um and when it's cut he's back to being a normal fun person so uh i think he's been great and it's been so nice uh working with him and he was also very patient because it's a new language for me um and he was so supportive 
looking into his eyes and saying dialogues to him never made me feel uh, anything except confident. Uh, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the very versatile Saif Ali Khan sahab. Shukriya for sharing that. Now coming to NTR Junior sahab, ek bar zor dar taria ladies and gentlemen. Yes, yeah, sorry, sorry, I apologize. Jai NTR, we have to say that. Thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> you know, we've seen Neela Samandar in Daudi, or usse pehle bhi, then we've seen Khuni Samandar. And everything Devara part one is all about is between these two things, right? It's like you've covered the entire spectrum. What is Devara for you and what is happening here? Tell us. <clears throat> Devra for me, obviously, you know, it, it's uh, it's not only a film, but it's it's a journey with Kortal Shiva for for many years. Uh, we've known each other since this movie of mine called uh, Brindavanam. Shiva was the writer for the movie, and uh, it was it was this growth of friendship between me and him. And then when he started off as a filmmaker. My, my, my interest towards him, my respect towards him has only increased with every film he's done. But I mean, it was very tough for him to sustain that kind of blockbusters which he's delivered. It's only because Shiva has nothing in mind but the story of the film. It keeps running in his head. He just needs the right space. He just needs the right people around him to just excel in it. And when our journey started right before RRR released, so he came up with this idea of uh, this, this, this protagonist, usually in commercial mainstream movie, we have a protagonist coming from the downtrodden, you know, when there's absolute zero courage, the protagonist comes forward, gives courage to the people who needs, you know, who, who needs courage, takes them and goes forward. But here there's a flip to Devra. So when courage is completely, you know, when it's filled to the brim, when it exceeds, there needs to be a certain amount of fear. And the protagonist is actually trying to give in fear than actually give in courage. So that for me, I, 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 for me was a, was a phenomenal idea. And then we started our journey of Devra. And here, I hope we've, 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 we've lived up to the expectations of the trailer. And uh, that's about it. You know, whatever we've seen up till now is phenomenal, right? As I said, we are like full of that intensity, that angst. It's, it's in all of us. Talk to us about these action sequences. Devra is, uh, you know, I've been, you know, when uh, uh, Karan sir and uh, Apurva sir and Anil sir, the three mascots of Devra, the three musketeers as well. <laughs> when they stepped in, you know, Shiva, when he narrated the script to them, and uh, when they saw a few visuals of the movie, I mean, I was really shocked seeing their reactions. I mean, and that's when I came to know that you know, this movie will definitely work. This movie is, I would call it an action drama. It is extremely high on action. I mean, Saif sir would definitely agree with me. There was some physically strenuous action sequence we both have been part of. It is, it is definitely high on action. Peter Hines, then we had Anna Larsu, and then especially we had Solomon, Solomon, who's worked for RRR as well, the National Award winner, he has actually extensively worked on the overwater and the underwater sequences of Devra. We've shot for about 38 odd days underwater and about close to 60 odd days overwater. So that itself was a chunk of 100 days to 80 to 100 days. So it is phenomenal action action you probably haven't seen before. The kind of water interactions, the kind of CGI's we've blended into those action sequences are phenomenal. So Devra is very high on action and uh, I would just, just can't wait for the world to see it. I'm sure sir, we're going to love it. Ek baar zordar for this amazing team ladies and gentlemen.
Okay, so we have a set of that his solo release after so many years. Uh, his fans have been waiting for this to happen. The fact that Saif and Janvi are part of this film, making it a true blue pan India experience. The fact that uh, Sivasar's vision, you know, as a filmmaker, is so exceptional. I don't want to put a number because that would dilute and demean what Devra means to all of us as a cinematic experience. But rest assured, it's going to be a celebration on the 27th of September. Absolutely, sir. Fingers crossed. Of course, the celebration has already begun. As I said, in North America, we're doing so well already. Even before the trailer, of course it is. That itself is an indication, right? Because that's the first place where the advances have really opened. And the fact that there is this just organically crazy, like madness, you know that that is, is an indication of the advances as well as the opening of the film across the nation as well. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you, Karan, sir, for sharing that. Of course, sir. Siva, sir, this one. Um, I think it's great, obviously. You know, I mean, so it's we've gotten used to an idea where you know there's there's Bollywood and there's movies made in the north and there's movies in the south. And there's so many different movie industries um, in India, and the idea to have uh, one film that can bring you know actors from different states like that together to create something that's truly pan-Indian is the becoming the new standard today, um, and. Uh, Films have done it, and I'm sure films will continue to do it. I'm just really lucky that I managed to speak a bit of Telugu, probably because it seems to be the language also of the future. And to learn, to learn a couple more languages, and everyone needs to broaden their horizons, get out of their comfort zones as actors. And uh, I mean, for me, it was a great, great honor uh, to be part of this. And I'm sure it's going to be the future for a lot of people. Um, you know, so it's great. And he said it, ladies and gentlemen, Saif Ali Khan sahab. Ek zordar talia from Mama Razi would want to know that given the high expectations for your action-packed performance in Devara Part 1, can you give us a sneak peek into any particular intense fight sequence or say a stunt that uh, you're really excited for? Well, um, Amar Ji, right? Amar, do we have here? Do we have Amar Ji here? Okay. So, oh, hi. Great. So, I can't point out on one such particular action sequence or I definitely would not point out on one stunt or a sequence. But um, I'm sure uh, Anil sir, Apurva sir and Karan sir will agree with me. I think the, the, the last half an hour or 40 minutes of Devra is, is going to rock you all. So, I can't wait. I just can't wait for people to watch that. The visual what uh, uh, my director Shiva had in his mind, and I just can't wait for the world to see it. <laughs> that's that's. And you're riding that giant fish. Talk to us about the shark. That. Yeah, shark. The shark. Yes. So how was it like? No, I mean like you should tell me how was that? How did it look? We loved it. <laughs> I mean love well, that scene. Well, I didn't. I I hated shooting for it. I mean that was one of the sequences which really took a lot of time. Oh, oh, seriously, I, I was in a 200 by 150 tank, which was about five and a half feet. And that shot literally took like almost a full day to get it right. So there's but it a is lot of marvelous. Whatever we saw there, you know, it, it is like amazing. Give it up for NTR Junior, ladies and gentlemen. Karan sir, you know, Ekakri cheese. I always want to thank them for all the love all the support they've given me over the years of being an actor and uh, I I don't know I, I mean there's there's a lot there's 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 a lot I need to thank them for but I would just 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 this humble thanks thank you for being there with me Saif sir closing remarks I would say what do you have to say to all the fans out there who were like eagerly waiting for the trailer and now it's out I think it's an amazing trailer the, the background music the visuals I have to say Randy sir our, our DOP has shot this film outstandingly the cast has been fab of course Tariq Sashivas's vision I think it's really exciting and like I, Karan said you know like a, a big movie coming out that you should watch in the theatres with all these beautiful colors and this amazing sound, um, I'm very excited. As says, Sev Sir just talked about uh, the BGM and the dialogue. So that is something that was, you know, out there. The dialogues and the BGM complementing each other. Talk to us about that quickly, sir, please. 
Right from the beginning, we thought of Andrew Bay as a music director because you know he's the master of sound and he knows how to blend the music into the story well. I'm happy that uh, he gave this output. And it's it's going like with the dialogues. Tarak sir, <laughs> one last thing. Talk to us about Shiva sir. Is he like always this like? Have you have you seen him answer your questions? It's always. That's what I'm saying. Just a. It's like. That long. I was afraid so Shiva is a master in in especially when in dialogues. You know, if your dialogue needs to be so much for you to like let's say a kilometer for you to like express your angst or whatever it is to express something. Shiva's dialogues are just two hundred meters. Right. They're just two hundred meters. So and I don't know how he does it. He is extremely talented. I mean, I've been, I told you, I've been his friend for a very long time. We've been friends for a very long time. He just delivers the same expression in 200 meters. So it's like very few words, but the expression is so deep. Size and to the point, right? 27th September is when we'll get to see the movie in theatres. Let's just come to that point. Thank you so much.